Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, granted by his permission and sanction, and those which exist have been put in place by God. Therefore, whoever resists governmental authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who have resisted it will bring judgment, civil penalty, on themselves. For civil authorities are not a source of fear for people of good behavior, but for those who do evil. Do you want to be unafraid of authority? Do what is good, and you will receive approval and commendation. For he is God's servant to you for good. But if you do wrong, you should be afraid. For he does not carry the executioner's sword for nothing. He is God's servant, an avenger who brings punishment on the wrongdoer. Therefore, one must be subject to civil authorities, not only to escape the punishment that comes with wrongdoing, but also as a matter of principle, knowing what is right before God. For this same reason, you pay taxes. For civil authorities are God's servants, devoting themselves to governance. Pay to all what is due, tax to whom tax is due, customs to whom customs, respect to whom respect, honor to whom honor. Owe nothing to anyone except to love and seek the best for one another. For he who unselfishly loves his neighbor has fulfilled the essence of the law relating to one's fellow man. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this statement. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. It never hurts anyone. Therefore, unselfish love is the fulfillment of the law. Do this knowing that this is a critical time. It is already the hour for you to awaken from your sleep of spiritual complacency. For our salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed in Christ. The night, this present evil age, is almost gone, and the day of Christ's return is almost here. So let us fling away the works of darkness and put on the full armor of light. Let us conduct ourselves properly and honorably as in the light of day, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual promiscuity and irresponsibility, not in quarreling and jealousy, but clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for, nor even think about gratifying the flesh in regard to its improper desires.